Hello Pisces, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your April 2022 mini tarot reading. Let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Please remember this is a general reading and if you'd like one just about you, I've included my website down below which has had some work done to it. So it should be an easy <laughs> go through for you whether you wanna just look at it or place an order. I appreciate your patience with that. Or also I've included, um, that would be soulstarbliss.com. And I've also included my um, other place that I work, which is readingsbyjudy.com. Uh, and you can book me there if you like. So let's take a look and see what is coming up for Pisces here for April, 2022. Oh my goodness, let's take a look. Looks like you're gonna be hearing from someone from the past, okay? I don't know if it's a friend or a relative, but remember this, when they show up, However things were before, they could be the same or things really could have changed, but treat it like a new um, relationship and let them prove themselves. Then there won't be any disappointments, I feel. So it, it's not testing them, but it's trusting your instincts or your gut, I guess you'd say about that. So heads up, make sure that you're, um, you're open to receive. Um, whatever that is they have to bring. But again, protect yourself and don't make any judgments until you see how things are, if they've really changed or not, or things have changed. And it says it looks like it's time for you to kind of stand up for yourself. Maybe you've been going with the flow. Uh, Ace of Wands says now is the time for new beginnings. What you set into to, um, movement now by, I want to say by summer, things are going to be... Um, really rolling along. So if you want to start a business, good time to do so. If you want to make some changes at work, good time to do so. Whatever it is that you're drawn to, whatever you focus on now, I think you'll see big, um, not rewards, but a progress um, by the time summer arrives. Alms dispense with justice. Gosh, this is the third reading where it's going to be an improvement in finances. Yay. And it says spirit is watching over you, whether you know it or not. Um, and your prayers are being heard or your wants, wishes, and daydreams. The hard part is to remember that, you know, all those negative thoughts you have, they create reality too. You know, what we think about, we become. So when you have those, try to turn them around. You know, like, oh, I'm so broke, I don't have money. Turn it around to say, I open to receive abundance or something similar to that, or even just a little bit of gratitude will really change that energy here. It says spirit's trying to talk to you or has been maybe trying to show you something. Maybe you asked for a sign. And it says here, make sure you get to the whole progress. You know, like we're all so busy that we'll ask for a sign or um, a message. And then we get three quarters of it and we get up and there's still more to be said. So it says, um, take your time and listen and wait till you have the whole message. In the love area, it looks like there could be an improvement for some. Those of you that are single, this might be the time where you're going to meet somebody. Ooh, I like that idea. Um, and it says three months, three weeks. No, it is three months. In three months time, there's going to be an improvement in love relationships. I hope that's for everybody, but it, it's kind of specific. If you're going to be meeting somebody, maybe meeting someone new, don't decide the third day that, you know, this is the one the extra special or whatever. Just see how things go. And I have a feeling it could turn out really well for a lot of you. Let's see here. Oop cards are stuck together. Okay, I have a two of swords, which means choices are going to be made. Do not be afraid to make a choice. You know, if, if, if you want to, you know, should I cross the street and you don't get, <laughs> I'm using that as a silly example, and you don't get an automatic yes, maybe it's not time to go across the street. But it says here with two twos, you're going to make some choices that are official commitments. So if you give your word on something, make sure it's something you really want to do because your word is the only thing you pretty much have control over on this planet, or I believe anyway. It says that disappointment from the other, um, from the past, I think it has to do with a person and I feel like it's a love relationship. If you were, you know, you feel like you were stabbed in the back or things weren't going well, excuses are gone now. You know, you can't, you can't, the only person you can change is yourself. You know, wouldn't it be great if we could change other people? But no, we are only able to make changes ourselves. So it says if you're unhappy in a relationship, try to work it out. Do everything you can uh, to see that, you know, it's going to work. And if it isn't, maybe it is time to move on. I, only you can decide that, you know, um, when you're ready, 
you'll make that choice. Message, messages, real messages are gonna be real important this month too. Also, it says those wants, wishes, and daydreams, those things you put on hold for yourself. Um, it's time now to, um, how do I wanna say? To get those back out, dust them off and start working with those a little bit and you're gonna find some victory with that. Again, some more choices for you to make. It says you can let disappointments from the past hasten what's coming for you or you can do the best you can to put the sadness from the past behind you, but you can't just stuff it down. Maybe it's, you, know, you have to let it out and deal with it. Don't keep stuffing it down because it's just gonna keep popping up. It might be a good time to uh, work on you know letting that go or working on whatever it is that that you know you can finally put it to rest or find the answers that you seek a lot going on around you it looks like definite changes on the way and I really feel like by the end of this month you're gonna feel pretty much like a victor maybe things haven't gone so well for the last few months for you but it says you know um, you can have an argument with someone and be right or you can listen to what they say and move on I don't know what that means to you, but it's, I feel it's really important. New opportunities definitely going to present themselves. I feel something will be offered to you. That could be work. It could be a uh, friendship. It could be, you know, a lot of, I don't know. It just seems like a month where things could be offered to you that you've been waiting for. It has to do with monetary for some of you. And I hopefully feel that that's going to be an improvement for you and make things easier. Seems like some of you have been waiting for, you know, the magic moment. I don't know if this is the month for the magic moment or where things all fall into place, but it's a time to move forward. I feel like blessings are there. Stand up and claim them for yourself. And with that said, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Pisces, I so appreciate you dropping by to see me, and I'll see you again next month.